Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and I am back with another tutorial on common electrical engineering formulas. Today in this series of tutorials, you will learn some common electrical engineering formulas which we will need to do almost all kinds of numerical maths on electrical engineering or electrical technology. I will cover formulas from AC circuits, DC circuits and magnetic circuits. You will learn around 35 formulas in total in this series of tutorials. These formulas are very useful for doing the numericals. Also, they are useful for attending competitive exams like GATE or GLATE or other engineering entrance exams. So first we will start with some AC circuits formulas. So generally in AC circuits we deal with formulas related to sine wave. So the instantaneous value of a sine wave is given by E equals to Em sine theta where Em is the maximum value and theta equals to omega t where omega is the amplitude and t is the time in second. This theta with omega t you can write E equals to Em sine omega t. Formula number 2 average value the amount of DC current or voltage which produces the same effect as done by AC during the same time is called the average value of a sinusoidal quantity. Mathematically, I average or the average current equals to 2 Im by pi and V average or the average voltage equals to 2 Vm by pi where Im and Vm represents the maximum current and maximum voltage respectively. So if you divide 2 by pi, you will get 0.637 that becomes 0.637 into Vm for voltage and 0.637 into Im for current. So you can also write I average equals to 0.637 Im and V average equals to 0.637 Vm. The RMS value also called the root mean square value. The definition is given by that steady or DC current which when flowing through a given circuit produces the same effect or same heat as produced by the AC flowing for the same time. So RMS value of current produces same heating effect as produced by the same quantity of AC voltage or AC current flowing for the same time. Now IRMS equals to IM by root 2 where IM is the maximum current. Similarly VRMS equals to VM by root 2 where VM is the maximum voltage. Again if you divide 1 divided by root 2 so that will become 0 0.707. So for IRMS it is 0 0.707 IM and for BRMS it is 0 0.707 VM. Fourth formula the amplitude the maximum value either positive or negative of an alternating quantity is called the amplitude. Generally in sine wave the upper and the lower values are called the positive and negative amplitude. So amplitude is represented by omega. So, omega equals to 2 into pi into f where f is the given frequency of the sinusoidal wave. Formula number 5 the form factor also called ff. ff equals to RMS value by average value. So RMS value is numerically 0.707 and average value is numerically 0.637. So it is 1.11. The form factor of a sine wave is always 1.1. Formula number 6 peak factor also called the amplitude factor or the crest factor. So Pf equals to maximum value by RMS value. So maximum value is Im and RMS value is Im by root 2. For current, so it will become Im by 1 into root 2 by Im. So by eliminating Im you will get root 2 by 1. So that is root 2 equals to 1.414. So peak factor is 1.414 for sine wave. Formula number 7. Inductive reactance also called X subscript L. The reactance or the resistance caused in AC circuit due to inductance present in the circuit. The common example of inductance is the magnetic choke in your home tube light or fluorescent light. So XL equals to 2 pi FL ohm where F is the frequency and L is the inductance in Henry. The unit of inductance is Henry. 
Now formula number 8 Capacitic reactance or AC equals to reactance or resistance caused in the AC circuit due to capacitance present in the circuit. So one common example of capacitance in your home is the condenser or capacitor which is installed in your ceiling fan. So Xc equals to 1 divided by 2 pi Fc ohm. So F is the frequency and C is the capacitance in farad. So unit of capacitance is farad. A note, capacitance help current lead the voltage and inductance help the current lag the voltage. So if there is a capacitance present in the circuit, in that circuit the current will lead the voltage. So if we plot them in graph, the current will be ahead in degrees compared to the voltage in a 360 degree pattern. So for only capacitance, the power factor cos phi will be greater than or equal to 1 and for only inductance, the power factor will be less than or equal to 1. So if the circuit has both, then you have to calculate the power factor by the formula given below. Formula number 1, power factor cos phi is given by R by Z where R is the resistance in the circuit and Z is the impedance in the circuit. Impedance is caused due to the inductance and the capacitance in the circuit. In DC circuit, we use the term resistance and in AC circuit, we use the term impedance. Formula number 2 for power factor. So power factor is cos phi equals to B into I into cos theta by V into I where V is the voltage, I is the current. And third formula for power factor, Pf equals to watt meter reading divided by V into I. If you connect a watt meter into IC circuit, it will give some reading and if you divide it by volt into ampere which we individually measure by voltmeter and ammeter, then the value will be the power factor of the circuit. This is the third formula. So formula number 4, phi equals to phase angle equals to cos inverse r by z. So from here cos theta equals to r by z, so theta equals to cos inverse of r by z. Now formula number 10, impedance which is z equals to root over r square plus xl minus xc whole square. This formula is useful in LRC circuit. LRC circuit means a circuit which has L for inductance, R for resistance and C for capacitance. So in an LRC circuit, R is calculated as Z into cos theta and Xc is calculated as Z into sin theta. And another formula for Z equals to BRMS by IRMS. Formula number 11, the time period. T equals to 1 by F where F is the frequency. So friends, this was my part 1 video on electrical technology formulas. Remaining formulas I will discuss in part 2 and part 3 of this series of tutorials. I will upload them just after this. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when I upload my next video, you get an email if you subscribe. It takes a lot of effort and research to make a video like this. So please appreciate my effort by liking the video and please share the video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.